back. This is Elliot Serrano and Jose Melendez coming to you from Dreamland Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois. Thank you, folks, for joining us here on the Comic Culture Warrior YouTube channel. Uh, wow. We have had um, some pretty spirited stuff here. And um, it's just been a day where Marvel's just going to have to take it on the chin right now. Last week, we were singing their praises. This week, kicking them in the nads. Because it's, again, and it's, it, it comes from a place of really being passionate about these books and wanting to love them. And when they let us down, they really let us down. Because speaking of letdowns, Man, weren't we talking about how good this series was? Magnum Opus, the Deadpool Thunderbolts crossover. We get to part four, the big payoff of this miniseries, of this, you know, crossover event. And wow. Yeah, it seems like this week, for whatever reason, like after reading Dark Avengers and the Thunderbolts, Marvel is just completely flaccid. Just can't get it up this week. <laughs> They blew their wads early. They just couldn't. Yeah, I guess so. And you know, and it's kind of like um, it, they were going for the big blow. Uh, really, the big blowout endings, but they named you know. I mean, this this they went a little they went a little prematurely to use. Yeah, this Thunderbolts. I was reading it, and first of all, this fucker Bong Dazzo. God, get this guy off of this book already. Well, uh, it's just killing me. I will defend the the previous issue to this that decent, he did was, was I liked tolerable. it. I thought it was okay. But not this, this. This one, yeah, this one was much. different. Too I mean, much. what he probably needs, he needs somebody else maybe working on his ink so he can. F no, he did have someone else working on his inks. His his um his pencils are a little really inconsistent. Yes. And um is, yes. And it's um it's it's a really cartoonish. Style, which, which is, is fine. fine for Daredevil, right? Well, for, for Daredevil, for, for, for Deadpool, a, for Deadpool, even though this is Thunderbolts. Yeah. But you know, it was a Deadpool story, so they decided to go with more of the cartoonish style, like what Paco Medina is doing in the Deadpool mm -hmm. book. But um, whereas Paco Medina is consistent throughout, this is this wasn't not, really inconsistent. All over yeah. The, place. the you know he was getting kind of clever there. Reminds me of shitty Dan Fraga art <laughs> from like the nineteen nineties. Oh. And um, I'm sorry, uh, Andy. It, I love Andy Diggle, and I and maybe it's because I was really expecting a lot there too. But I think he went too much into the goofy slapstick. Um, yeah, at, at at one point, everything that Deadpool was doing made absolutely no sense. He was just doing it well because it's funny and it's crazy. Let's just make Deadpool do it. Right. Well, one funny thing that that he did, which I actually the only good part of this, this issue. Was when Ant Man was in his costume, and, <laughs> and Deadpool just starts shooting himself. Like that was actually kind of clever. I kind of like that. That was that was good. Uh, I wish I wish this comic had twenty one more pages of him just shooting himself because I would have enjoyed it. But it's just, and yeah, we liked the first three parts like a lot. But this issue is just like nothing was resolved really. Deadpool gets away, and there just wasn't anything to it. Here's my thing, and we're gonna. If you haven't read this issue yet, stop now because I'm gonna tell you what the ending is. Okay, for those of you who've already read it, you're still with us. If this whole storyline was basically to set up a romance between Deadpool and Black Widow, mm -hmm. that that that's just that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, because, four issues for that. Because it's gonna that's 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 little details kind of gonna be forgotten mm -hmm. at one point, and um. You know, it's just not people. You know, you later on, you're not going to be talking about the the big Deadpool Black Widow romance. It was just for the purposes of this issue. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I don't. I seriously doubt Andy Diggle is going to be following up with that on Thunderbolts. I seriously do. I thought they just thought for the purposes of this crossover, we're just going to make it goofy and light and whatever. Which is okay, fine. You want to give me that, fine. But but I mean, before this whole. Deadpool thing, Thunderbolts is pretty serious. Like the first two issues yes. that Deal came on, yes. I mean, and yeah, it's Deadpool. I understand that that it's going to take on a different tone. But I wish that what they would have done, which we talked about before, is I wish that Thunderbolt, the two issues of Thunderbolts, would have taken place within the Thunderbolts like kind of universe where everything was dark and tell the point of view from the Thunderbolts and make it serious. And then right. in the Deadpool stuff, that's where you have all the jokey cartoonish exactly. stuff happening. Right. Cause it's, it's through Deadpool's eyes. Cause it's his right. comic. I wish right. that they would have done that contrast and it would have been much more interesting. I think would have been more interesting. And maybe you would have been got, you probably could have gotten a more satisfying payoff, mm -hmm. you know, maybe even go for sort of a tragic ending. 
you know, as opposed to this goofy, you know, again, very Bugs Bunny-ish. Deadpool mm-hmm. is the Bugs Bunny of the Marvel U, is, mm-hmm. is essentially what he is. And, and which is fine if people like him. Um, I'm sorry, though. I don't know if Deadpool is going to be able to, like you said earlier to me, um, if that uh, if you're going to be able to buy two series, two Deadpool yeah, series. Yeah, fucking hell. You know, for that. Because, again... Yeah, this guy's and he and he has and he has his own miniseries going on right now also. Yeah. So there's a five issue miniseries, and then in the new previews, guess what? It's uh, an all new ongoing Deadpool comic. Deadpool. Another one. Work with a mouth. Yeah. And I understand why, because he's in the Wolverine movie, but we just basically shit all over that movie because Deadpool was hardly even in it. Right. And it's not this cool Deadpool. Right. But it's. I mean, it says it's a new ongoing. Series, but in the solicitation it says that it's part one of six. So I don't know if that's a six issue mini series. I don't know which one's a typo. Right. But I'm sorry, but the market cannot contain two Deadpool ongoings. I'm sorry. It's just and then he's got an, again he's got a five issue mini series going on right now. And I love Deadpool. I'm not bad mouthing it, but it just doesn't make sense to oversaturate it just because right. he's the cool character right now. Right. Happened with the Punisher. I fucking happened with Wolverine. Right. I mean, he's like, you know, he's the it guy right now. But that's what kills titles. I mean, like they were saying, I I read about, like, what they have done with, um, remember when Justice League was really big back in the day? And they came out with Justice League International, Justice League uh, Extreme, Justice League this. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you run into a successful formula or a successful character and you just keep, you know... You keep going back to that same Until well you over the and goose over. And laid the golden egg. Yeah, exactly. So, I think this is like when when fanboys have got to say no. Look, guys, we got to stop this. I think Deadpool is actually in X Force too, or he's in this whole Messiah War thing right. too. So Deadpool is kind of everywhere right now. Well, you got to give me. I think it's quality over quantity. You I gotta agree. Give us quality over quantity. You know, there's no reason why you can't take that. Deadpool, Merc with the Mouth story, and just incorporate it in the main series. But here's here's the reason why. Uh, well, first of all, um, fucking uh, Bong Dazo is gonna be drawing this new. <laughs> and oh, I'm sorry, but I already right there. I'm not buying it because I can't stand his art on here. Um, the cool thing though is that uh, he is teaming up with his zombie head from Marvel <laughs> Zombies Four. Yeah, but see, so, so I'll read. It, so I'll read it because of that. Mm-hmm. But here's the here's the kicker. It's three ninety nine, and why is it three ninety nine? Because they're gonna give you the first appearance of Deadpool from New Mutants ninety eight. Who wants that piece of shit <laughs> in a compilation? Rob Liefeld. I mean, that Deadpool is night and day from this Deadpool. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. but I don't need to be paying extra money for Rob Liefeld shit. <laughs> That's true. That's, I mean, seriously. Good God. Seriously. Mm-mm. Come on. And on top of that, you know, again, really, Merc with the mouth, Deadpool teaming up with the zombie Deadpool. That heads. should be in Deadpool. That should be in Deadpool, and really a six issue mini. Do you really think that idea is going to be able to last for six issues? I don't know. Seriously? Okay, I'll give you four. A solid two and an excellent one shot, but six issues? No. Well, in either case, it's uh, this uh, Thunderbolts, this whole magnum opus. Again, like we were saying about a lot of other Marvel books, they just build us up, let us down, which is too bad. All right, so we're going to end this segment on that. And when we come back, we will have... I don't know. We'll see. See you then. <laughs> 